Mickey mood. And to be honest, I'm mad at her. Okay. I don't like pulling this big thing out, so that's what I have this for. But yeah. going to try out this new grocery store that one of my homegirls told me about and the name of it is Jovi's and y'all know I love me a H-E-B but I was told that Jovi's is like H-E-B just slightly cheaper so I'm gonna take my little bougie self my bougie self <laughs> to this Jovi's and see how I feel about it okay so I'm gonna bring y'all with me and we're going to experience Jovi's together, okay? Okay, come on. But before we go in there, we found some little taco spot and you never go to the grocery store hungry or you're gonna buy everything. So we got to see what they got. Hi, Mr. Jovi. We just walked in the door. Bottle waters is three dollars and twenty-four cents. That's amazing. Cake mix, one dollar and thirty-seven cents. Okay, y'all. Let's see what they do. Is this a rice cooker? Maybe it is. $19. They got these ginormous pizzas for $6. This one is four for cheese. Oh, wow. Okay. I see you, Jovi. Now, I do get these from HEB. This exact brand. See, it says H E B. Let's see where my sushi is and compare the price. Boom, California roll, $5.99. Yep, this one's a little cheaper because these are typically $8.99. Now you know this is a good deal. Bananas, three pounds for a dollar. What? Del Monte bananas at that. Yeah, that's where I'm going. I don't see no meat market. I guess it's just the same like HEB. We just got back from Jovi's. My thoughts on Jovi's is it's a nice place to go if I just need to make a run real quick to the grocery store or like I need something from HEB real quick. But other than that, y'all, I'm gonna have to continue going to HEB and ordering from HEB because one, they did not have everything. Then I got my little tortillas, I'll show y'all. In a minute, Curtis still bringing bags in, but I found these Minute Maid um, Zero Sugar. 
this one was lemonade and then I found mango and as you can see I already started on this one <laughs> I got these for, that's like $4.20. I don't know if that's a good deal or not, but I got two of them. Cheerios as well. Go put them in the pantry. They go all the way at the top. And I got some almond milk. I've never had this brand before. Got some regular milk. Y'all saw how cheap these bananas was. And these are my tortillas I was talking about. They didn't have them like on a warmer to make me feel like they was fresh. So, I hope I like them. Otherwise, I'm going to have to just stick with H-E-B. Coco grabbed these. These were like a dollar. A little um, chocolate chip cookies. And then I got some hot dog buns because the kids got hot dogs in there. I found some meat. Yeah, let me tell you something. Ever since I left Chicago, I don't even know where a meat market is. I think I went to one meat market while I was here a long time ago. And when I tell you, it's so far away. Bye. Like, so far. Because whatever happened to buying meat by the pound? Can I get 10 pounds of chicken wings? Can I get a case of chicken wings? Can I get a pound of ground beef and all that? That's the way I'm used to shopping in Chicago. And it's like a struggle found in the meat market. It's like they took all the meat markets and put them bam smack in the hood. And they don't got no more. Like it was a very, very far drive. And I'm going to tell you the truth. The only way that I would ever drive all the way over there again it will be because i am stocking my chest freezer from the floor up with meat because yeah but anyway i got some chicken thighs i tried to keep each meat under ten dollars this one was 9.88 some bonus skinless chicken thighs i got some pork steaks for six dollars try not to buy a lot of pork i got some Ribeye steaks for $13 and I got um, uh, chuck steak, thin sliced chuck steak for $5.85, which you can make tacos with this. Like just cut it up and yeah, I mean, or some pepper steak and rice, $5. It's a good deal. I got these tortilla crusted tilapia from Sam. Uh, no, I was at Costco. I got these from Costco. So we're going to have that for dinner today with a baked potato because your girl ain't trying to be in the kitchen. I got too much to do. I'm trying to get my beauty room together along with my bedroom. I believe that's going to be the next project that we work on. And yeah, so that's all I got. Um, I have nothing else for tonight so um that's gonna be all for now so i will see y'all later Toodles. we should bless others but it's also important to bless yourself when we hear bless yourself that can sound odd self-centered i can't bless myself i want somebody else to bless me more importantly, I want God to bless me. But the scripture says in Isaiah, he who invokes a blessing on himself shall do so by saying. The way you bless yourself is to say what God says about you. I am strong. I am talented. I am forgiven. I am healthy. I am valuable. I am a masterpiece. Those are not just positive affirmations. You just invoked a blessing on yourself. When you speak it out, you give life to what you're saying. It's not enough to just think this. You don't bless yourself by just dwelling on positive thoughts. Nothing happens until you speak. When you say, I am blessed, blessings come looking for you. When you say, I am prosperous, good breaks start heading your way. When you say, I am healthy, health starts tracking you down. You can't wait till you feel that way, then you're going to say it. 
when the medical report turns around, then I'll say I'm healthy. It's just the opposite. You have to declare you're healthy before the health is going to show up. You have to say I am confident before you're going to feel confident. If you'll say it long enough, what happens is those words get down in your spirit. You believe what you say about yourself more than what anyone else says about you. When you hear yourself day after day, I am healthy, I am talented, I am confident, I am valuable, it's changing how you see yourself. Over time, you're going to become what you're saying. You are who you are in part today because of what you've been speaking over your life. Now, all through the day, you need to develop this habit of blessing yourself. You don't have to do it in front of other people, but when you're in the shower, Father, thank you that I am creative, I am attractive, I am a great father, I have a good personality. Driving to work, Lord, thank you that I'm forgiven, I'm redeemed, that your mercy is bigger than my mistakes. Before you go to bed, I am valuable. I am one of a kind. I have seeds of greatness. Every time you say that, it's getting deeper in your spirit. It's becoming more ingrained in your thinking. And studies tell us that we move toward what's in our subconscious mind. Without even thinking about it, you're being pulled toward what you're saying. That's why it's so important to pay attention to what you're speaking over yourself. Other people may say things about you, but nothing is more powerful than what you say about yourself. I can tell you all day long, you're a victor and not a victim. That's good. That's helping your thinking, but it's nothing compared to when you say, I am a child of the Most High God. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Baby, did y'all just get a sermon or what? Those are facts. So when you see me confident and I talk about how good I look and this and that, y'all, it's just because if I don't love me, who else will? Your confidence is sexy. Now, there's a thin line between being confident and cocky. Cocky I am not. That's not going to get it. I don't mean like that, but confidence, yes. And it's just because I love me right where I am. And other people tend to respect it. You know, you, you might have some people that be jealous. But for the most part, people respect it. And it is what it is. morning y'all today i had a tough morning because i wasn't feeling good Cover, it's gone i planned on being at my desk doing this but he act like he was just starving and jazz didn't feed him before she went to work so I guess I'm gonna be down here in my kitchen. So today, you guys, I planned on getting to more unpacking. I'm unsure where I wanna start, to be honest. Once I did the kitchen, I feel like I'm just all over the place at this point. 
but I came down because I need to finish editing this video before I even get started on that. And I also need to cover. Cover, stop it. It's gone. I also need to sit down and pay all the bills because it's that time of the month. And so I'm about to, uh, I already paid the rent, of course, but then all of the other bills, I don't know the due dates. Uh, it was a lot easier, of course, in the apartment because all you have to remember is the rent and the electric, but the water, everything else is included in the rent. So, so now I got to get back on my house vibes <laughs> because each individual bill is due different so the way that i make it easier for myself everybody get paid on the first i'm just i don't got time okay and more times more often than not i end up with credit on the account which is fine i just know that everybody getting paid on the beginning of the month because i will forget to pay you and i don't want late fees because late fees is extra money thrown out the bill out the door that i could spend so anyway i just want to come in talk to y'all for a minute just let y'all know what today is supposed to bring and hopefully this video don't take me forever i have finished 80 percent of it so i just gotta finish up the rest of the editing i have to create a thumbnail and this video has to go up today this video has to go up today i uh, i still have a few hours before it's scheduled to go up so that's that i am going to need to make me some coffee i just snacked on me a banana for now because I need to work on this video and then I will make some breakfast. I'm probably going to make a breakfast taco. Oh, and I got to show y'all these things that I got for the the stove. I purchased the, I think I showed y'all in another vlog, but I got to show y'all how I put them on. Because I haven't put them on yet, so we're going to do that together. I probably do that before I start cooking on the stove, but... But yeah, we just, we just, this is all over the place vlog, okay? We just got a lot of things going on, and we just gonna do whatever, you know, we got going on. And when I'm able to really, like, sit and chat with y'all, I will. But right now, I need to get started on this, so I'll be back. I'll see y'all later. Okay, y'all, it is many hours later, and I am starving. But before I get started, I wanted to try out, try to see if I could figure out how to put these these little things I got on here and I will link them in the description box below and if I can remember I will try to link them in the I'll try to pin them in the comments but this is what they look like and it's now we got a cereal on here cocoa and you just put it I see this one doesn't fit quite Oh, these don't fit at all. My stove is too small. Okay, so. I am guessing they made these for the newer stoves. But I'm, look, let me show y'all. This is not fitting. This is not, this is not the look. This is, it's not, it's supposed to be within this square so what i'm going to do i'm going to get creative and i'm going to cut them that's what i'm gonna do y'all please comment down below i need me another uh, vlog stick i can't with this one anymore i'm over it i need me a good one one that i could travel with too we can consider that an epic fail i will cut them and try to work with them see what i could do with them but in the meantime let me put my other liners back because this just makes my life easier with cooking and with people in my house who cook but don't like to clean. So that helps a lot with catching all the extra nonsense that nobody wants on their stove. 
I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and mix me a breakfast taco. my first time trying this you guys I am completely out of iced coffee and so I'm waiting on my order to come in from HEB for them to deliver it but for now I did grab this when I was at the store just to try it out so it's gonna be my first time hope I like it it is Dunkin Donut Dunkin Donuts iced coffee and rich chocolate mocha hope I like it I'm going to add a tad bit of white chocolate because this is my favorite. Just a little bit. And my sugar-free ready whip. I love this, y'all. You can't even tell the difference. Seriously. I save those carbs for my caramel. Because I like some caramel on my, on my iced coffee. And this is going to be our coffee for today. Hopefully it's good. Stick us a straw in there. And we have our nice breakfast and a little cup of coffee. I'm gonna sit down, finish working, and enjoy. Hello? Dang, you dead? Mm-hmm. I got bad news. What? Mm -hmm. The refrigerator gone out. Mm -hmm. Our mm -hmm. groceries we just bought. All that. That's crazy. You know I see no light on in front of me? Yeah, it's just not getting cold. I think they knew that. But they told us we had a year, so... Remember, she said you got a year until the the refrigerator. It might last a year, but that's about it. Mm -hmm. They knew that refrigerator wasn't no good at all. While I was sitting here trying to enjoy my coffee, I had to call Curtis and let him know that our refrigerator has gone out. We was we knew we we were getting a new refrigerator. That's a given. We had already went out shopping. We went looking for a refrigerator. We have already prepared to replace the refrigerator, but we wasn't set on which refrigerator we wanted yet. The one that we wanted costed a little bit more, so we had to wait. The refrigerator is gone now. According to the landlord, it will last about a year. Da -da 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 -da. Refrigerator is no longer getting cold. So now I done stopped finishing up my video because I have to find a refrigerator and I'm online right now speaking with Best Buy. I'm trying to order a refrigerator to be delivered immediately. This is so annoying. We've been through so much in the past Mm, I, I want to say year because of the issues we was having with the apartment, but I don't know if I want to include that or let's just say a lot has been going on. And I told Curtis, I was like, I feel like we are in a spiritual warfare. We have prayed. We have believed we have had faith and obviously the devil is not liking it we are constantly going through something back to back to back and it's like god come through like don't worry about it baby i got you or don't worry about it i got you the refrigerator just went out 
y'all i don't know what's happening my truck just went out <laughs> like and i'm grateful to god i'm so grateful to god that the finances are there for us to do these things like i literally just went on best buy website like you look how fast can you get this refrigerator to me like i haven't even seen the refrigerator okay what can i get it and the same for like my car like just to run in the shop let them do what they do and get your car back i don't know i don't know well the refrigerator has been ordered they just sent me notification basically saying congratulations my order number and everything but y'all they can't deliver until Tuesday. Today is Sunday and they can't deliver until Tuesday. Like I said, something's going on. And I feel like like the devil is battling for our soul or something. I don't know if it's a person in the background doing these things, trying to uh like bring us down or try to fight against all of the blessings that we have but <laughs> baby <laughs> i'm ready because i tell you when you're in the spiritual warfare they'll come for any and everything around you including your kids okay <sighs> baby but we will continue to have faith, believe in the word, pray. We need to start going to church so we can worship with some, I mean, so we can fellowship with some people and, whew. But yes, who knows? But you will not win. You will not win. I need some blessed oil around here. Whew. But refrigerator is coming, so I'm excited about that. I guess I got to be excited about it. Even though those expenses were not counted, we are currently planning this sneaker ball for Coco. Like, for her. I don't have time for this stuff, but I like to budget. No pay this put this money here this money there up down not just oh gotta buy a refrigerator like but it's okay so next up is going to be the washer and the dryer because baby this laundromat stuff is not for me all right y'all let me go let me finish up this video when i get done with this video we're gonna get started upstairs in the beauty room i have decided to go ahead and set that up before i come back down here and work on the living room and that's just because i have this huge y'all remember that cabinet that was in my kitchen it was all white with the black shelves yeah that cannot fit in here anywhere so i'm like mm. We might as well get rid of it. Like, I don't, Curtis, I'm out. cut it down, cut it shorter, and use it in the garage. <laughs> I ain't thinking like that. I'm thinking somebody sell it, somebody come get it, somebody else who can use it can have it, you know? And maybe I'll put something on my head so I could try to look like, I tried to look like something for y'all. <laughs> I'm at home. I'm comfortable. I don't care. I told y'all, reality TV over here. It's reality TV. This is real. Is this being unprofessional? I don't know. But I'm in my home. I'm comfortable. This is how I'm walking around my house right now in real time. Okay? Okay. Doorbell just rang. I believe this is my grocery order. So let's see. Yes, it is. So this is my HEB order that I picked up, y'all. Just some stuff to make some like hokey sandwiches. Again, I'm not in the cooking mood. And to be honest, 
I'm mad at Curtis. Okay. Ooh, my strawberries. They did a good job. Can y'all tell? They picked me some good strawberries. Uh, let me tell y'all. I was about to order some cupcakes. H-E-B got these Oreo cupcakes that I love. And I told myself, don't do it. Just get you some strawberries. If it just got to be sweet, dip it in some chocolate or something. Proud of myself for that. But anyway, yeah. So I'm at a Curtis, y'all, because um, he just be spending too much time in the bathroom, so. I know some of y'all probably be like, girl, those are your worries. Yes, like those are your issues. Yes, that's a major issue uh, for me. That's like one of his biggest flaws. If I could change anything about him, it would be that. Any other flaws that he got, I'm okay with. But that, I can't stand it. I can't stand it. And the reason I can't stand it, y'all, is simply because I am like a time management type of person. I like to be organized. And he's more, he's like a turtle or no, not even a turtle, a sloth. He's like a sloth. And he just kind of take his time to do everything. And we are from two different places. I'm from up north. I'm from Chicago. So imagine how busy and fast Chicago and New York is, right? And he's from the South, Alabama, South. So things for him might be super duper slow. And that's one of the things that I try to tell myself, you know, y'all are different. Y'all are different. And I always talk about what marriage is to people. And marriage is not being with a perfect person it's being with a person who's perfect for you and so that doesn't mean they won't have flaws that that doesn't mean they won't have things that you hate so much about them um but you have to decide what's a deal breaker for you and for me it's on the line of deal breaker it's like that close but it's not because i feel like everything else about him overshadows that but i'm mad at him i am mad because as y'all seen i was up there trying to move my stuff and i do have achilles tendonitis and it just started flaring up i guess i'm doing too much or i'm i, I don't know what i don't know i need help i need some help jazz is at work coco can only do so much he's here and he spends a lot of time in the bathroom showering. He shower. He takes long showers. He shaved for a long time. Like, I don't know. I told him I think it's an OCD up in there somewhere or something. But either way it goes, like, I'm out of him right now. I'm irritated because I want to finish my beauty room. I want to finish the living room. I'm tired of waiting on people. I am not that type of person. I don't like waiting on people. If you don't show up, baby, I get to it. I get right to it and get it done. But, yeah, I can't. And then if I start using his money, start spending his money, saying you don't get no spending money, you get no lunch money, no nothing, because I'm going to pay somebody to help me, then I'll be wrong. Right? No, I won't be. Because that's exactly what I'm on the verge of doing. Let me put these groceries up. I want to make y'all mad too, but this is dinner. Hoagie sandwiches. I got some salami, some uh, Genoa, which is my favorite. I got some Black Forest ham, which is another one of my favorites. And some American cheese from the deli. Hoagie bread, got some chips. And then I was out of coffee. So I got this. And the part that's making me mad about this order is, yeah, remember the refrigerator is not getting cold. So yeah, with that. And then I got me some more um, picante sauce for my breakfast tacos. Got some ranch dressing. Um, I'm low on my caramel sauce. So I got some more of that and that's it. I'm probably gonna see y'all tomorrow when I have a better energy. I'm about to make Coco her sandwich so I can get her hair combed and prepare for school tomorrow. Um, I have to prepare for work tomorrow, but it's looking like nothing is about to get done. 
that's another thing. I'm a morning person. Like I like to get up in the morning and take care of business. Like, you know, and he don't, he like be up at night and then sleep during the day. And I, I, we're opposite in that. So yeah, I'm probably going to see y'all tomorrow. Like when I'm in a better mood, when I'm getting things done. But as of right now, I'm on pause. So maybe I'll do some of the things that I can do and go and hang up some more of my clothes in my room and just, yeah, try to empty out some boxes and that's it. But I'll see y'all at a later time because I'm at myself sanitizing this house before when I first moved in but never did I ever think that you should pull the refrigerator out this is gross look at this refrigerator Ugh, I'm disgusted so now I'm not gonna let them put the refrigerator up yet I think I'd rather you just sit it right here and open the box yeah, because look at that floor. I'm not putting my refrigerator on top of that. I just moved here, so I didn't know it was looking like that. I want to clean that before okay. I put this over there. All right, so I don't want you want me to go. Just leave it just, in there? Yeah, but if you can, can you unhook? You because I don't know what those yeah, cords are. Yeah, if you can a, unhook that, yeah, I can I, make your lives a little bit easier. No, 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 no. <laughs> Oh, I can move this one. Okay. Yeah, that one is pretty light. It's got wheels. Yeah. This so one there's, too. And, and this one doesn't hook or anything, right? So no. just plug it up. Yeah, How long good. should I wait? That's all you gotta do. How long should I wait? Like a couple hours. After you plug it in, you have to wait like a couple hours right now. So you can let it sit so the whole the, thing. Okay. And then um. And then when you plug it in, you gotta wait a couple hours to pull. So. That's fine. So you want to do this? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Well, you can just leave because I'm not. I, I want to clean. I, yeah, I, 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 that is really disgusting. Like, I, I, I can't. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right. Just let me take a quick picture on this one, and we. Okay. Oh, very much. There is nobody. Okay, y'all, so this is our new fridge. It is not the one I ordered. Wait a minute. I'm gonna have to go back and look again. I'm gonna have to go back and look again, but, uh, let's see. I'm, I thought it was two doors on the top. But I guess not. But this is a refrigerator that's not as tall as I would like it. Like, I like big refrigerators to fit all of my food, you know, in my shenanigans. But, yeah, this is not what was advertised. Because there was two doors. And I'm going to have to measure this refrigerator. Because I feel like I needed two of these, like, organized sections. Which is why I picked the one with the two doors. I mean, it's clean, it's new, and it's better than what we just had. But, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. I'm, let me, I'm going to have to see what's going on. Because I have a feeling that this is the wrong one. So this is the freezer. You have your little drawer here. We can put like a little bucket of ice with a scoop with a scoop or something in there and then your freezer stuff. So it ain't too bad, but let me let me go y'all cuz I need to check them out to see what's up. Why this don't look like what I paid for.
Hey y'all, so it is finally time for me to load up my refrigerator. I had to let it sit for a few hours. That was what was recommended. So I think I already put some things in there, but I'm like, let me turn the camera on. They're excited for me too. So we can get this stuff out of here and I'm gonna show y'all this other refrigerator. Matter of fact, go check out the short that I created because yeah. There was no way I was going to keep this refrigerator. Somebody gave me the idea to like redo it. Mm -mm, y'all. <laughs> this ain't something that, and now I'm a project and a DIY girl. But this, this ain't one of those. So, yeah, let me show y'all what I got. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. Y'all see who it's from. <laughs> it's not I wonder who it's from. Y'all see who it's from. Let's get it open. Okay, we got quite a few items in here. I've been needing this since forever, okay? Forever. This is the bag saver. Now, I know y'all saving them grocery bags, and so do I, but they under my cabinet and they in the way. So I got this. I'm so excited. We gonna put this up too. We gonna put it up. And we're going to fill it up with our bags. And then these are alcohol pads. I know people always say, don't clean your face with alcohol pads. Your alcohol dries your face. I've been doing this forever since I was a young girl. Still do it to this day. And then I have ice scooper. So the refrigerator does not make ice and I'm okay with that because I didn't want to hook any water sources to this refrigerator at all because I told them, yeah, we're not doing that. And plus, this is not my forever refrigerator. All of the, this will make sense in within the next year, but yes. This is my ice scoop. So, y'all know I buy ice. I buy ice for my iced coffee. I don't really make ice with the water and all that stuff. I'm going to get us a, uh, a water cooler. I'm really considering taking this freezer out of here. I don't know. I'm just... I, just, I don't like how it look in here. Yes, it's black. Kind of match everything else, but... I just don't like how it look here. I really want to get one of those water dispensers uh, and put that right here. And then somebody gave me an idea for the um, a cart for the microwave, which I think would go nice right here as well. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that just yet. We we just not gonna speak on that. And then I got this, which. I was expecting to be bigger than this. I might have to take this back. This is too small. This I needed a tray to hold the ice. And I wanted something silicone so that when you're using the scoop and you're chopping, you're not, you know, you can't tear this up. But, ooh. Mmm, this is too small. Oh man, they this is they was promoting this as for like ice baths. Some people probably never get me to take, but yeah, let's see, this is so small. This is not gonna fit any ice. I might end up having to just go with a, an acrylic shelf for the ice because I don't want the bag of ice in my freezer. I actually want you know like cute little like ice tray or something this is way too girl look at this the scoop is bigger than the dang oh man this ain't gonna work this is 
is not going to work. I love this scoop. Fancy. Oh, let me show y'all what my scoop do. Girl, let me tell you, I be finding these fans, girl. Let me show y'all what my scoop do. Look at that. It don't get no better than that. It don't get no better than that. You ain't got no excuse. Where's the ice scoop? On the refrigerator. Kudos to me. I use this in my refrigerator, y'all, or in my pantry. And I'm about to see if it fit in the freezer because that little bitty ice thing, that's just not going to cut it. This, I ain't going to put it on the inside because I need to clean this. But this is much different. This is a lot better in size in comparison to the little black thing. So let's see if it fits. Cross y'all fingers for me. Because I need this to work. And boom! Shaka laka, shaka laka! It's working. It, it's perfect. Okay, let me fill it up with ice. <laughs> Pretty days for this car. It's already messed up. I don't even know if it's maxed out, but I don't know. I have to. I don't know. I don't know why you see it or whatever, but I'm based off the screenshots. It is. I don't. What I think. What I think is all that it is. Here you go. I literally just paid that car off. What did we do? Did you did you give me the money for your boots and all that? You gave me cash? That wasn't for that card, though. What are you talking about? That wasn't for that card. You didn't put it on that card. No, I didn't. I know you didn't. It wouldn't go through. Exactly. Because so it's maxed out. What the hell are you doing me? I gave you the money. I gave you $300. That has nothing to do with that card. You gave me $300. To go to the car where you did use it. They don't got nothing to do with that car. I first need to see how much you spent. This is why I keep telling you when you're using Uber on your way home. I do, I do share rides there. And you fact, share rides. It's not going to charge you for it. If, if nobody else picks up the ride. First of all, who was you getting loud with? Second of all, I know how it works. I know how it works. That's not what I'm saying. You just saying. What's coming out of school? Y'all's coming out of school? Yeah, like he went for the person because they didn't believe in the school too, but they never came out of the school, so he canceled. Mm -hmm. Okay. So cool. So y'all, since I'll let you see it. From the thing them call a broken heart, this blessed love will never part. It does know it from the start, but tell them say I don't say it. A Sean Paul and Sasha. Ping pong girls make me sweat. I can't get your tenderness. Still I can't get you off my mind. 
What is it about you, baby? I just said I did not feel love. I'm still in love. I stay in that till I do I'm still in love with you. This is the finished refrigerator. And yeah, so I got the milks and my coffee stuff and sauces and mayo and stuff like that. And the crazy thing is the other refrigerator is taller than this. But this refrigerator still got so much more space. I got my strawberries in here. We we need some vegetables because we, we emptied down in the vegetable area. Strawberries running out too. So probably can use some fruit in here. But for sure, for sure, we need some veggies. Clearly. And these containers, I like to keep the cheese in. Like all different cheeses, sharp cheddar, Mexican cheese, uh, sliced cheese, and yeah, my eggs. And then this is the case of eggs because I like uh, eggs and we kind of eat a lot of eggs. But I don't like pulling this big thing out, so that's what I have this for. But yeah, love it. I will link those containers for y'all in the description box thanks for watching this video i really hope y'all enjoyed it let's chat in the comments and make sure you hit the like button and i'll see you in the next one bye you know you are a